All right, so today we're gonna to be moving my Myrmecocystis placidops colony to a brand new Tar Heel Lance Fortress. This is a custom nest from Mac with a nice silver paint and custom stones in the outworld. All right, so make, I'm gonna make this video all one go. So what we're gonna use, we're gonna use a big flu on bucket with a little stand to hold the mini hearth. I've got a paintbrush and hand or manual aspirator as well as a battery aspirator. For once I get most of the brood out, I'll use this on the workers so I don't constantly inhale formic acid. And featherweight tweezers for the queen. So I've already flew on the fortress. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get this started. So first what we'll do is, let's go ahead and get the, let's see if I can get this back for you. pretty good. So first what we'll do is we'll pop the outward of the fortress off and we'll pop this off as well. Run everywhere. All right. So this colony doesn't have any fully engorged repletes. So there's really no need for us to, I mean, there's maybe one or two. So we'll go ahead and pop the glass off the fortress and just double check. Some of these workers look a little bit, like they might be a little immobile. So we'll go ahead and double check that real quick. Let's see. Oh, there goes a replete right here. Yeah, that's pretty an immobile worker. So we'll go ahead and grab her featherweights. You can see that pleat right there. And we're gently setting it inside of the other nest. I'm gonna pick up the nest here for a little bit of a better view. It's a little low. So I've got another replete now in the featherweights. I'm gonna set her gently inside the nest as well. Try to put her more near the top. Really even out the replete placement. Looks like a better worker on my leg. Okay. Are you breaking the flu on? Oh, that's not good. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with, uh, let's make sure there's no more immobile repletes. Looks like we've got one more in there that needs to be taken out before we start the process. Okay. So, here's the last replete right here. And we'll set her gently inside of the nest as well. And we will go ahead and pop the glass back on. This replete actually just popped as I put her in the nest. Okay. So we've got two full or medium-sized repletes, and now we're gonna work with the with the brood. So we'll get our manual aspirator, which is this, and we'll gently just work on sucking everything out.
All right, so we've got a good amount of brood in here. Plenty of pupa, some larvae, some workers. And so now we'll go ahead and dump this into the outworld of the fortress. Which is what I'm doing right now. And we will repeat the process one more time. I believe there's still some larvae left. Sorry, my voice sounds weird. I've got the tube hanging out of my mouth, picking up the nest. So we look again. Actually, I can do it down here. I'll get low. There's still some brood back there. All right. So let's go ahead and set the nest back on the block. And empty out the brood one more time into the fortress outworld. So right now I'm looking at, I'd say 40 pupa, 20 larva, bunch of eggs. So they're doing all right. I'm actually gonna take some pupa back from this colony to give to one of my other queens that I have. And hopefully we can get something out of that. So I'm gonna set this aside for a second. This extra pupa I just took. There's one worker with him. That's all right. All right, now we'll use the battery powered aspirator, which is this, to suck up a majority. Actually, we don't really need to do that. What we can do Instead, since this is coated with fluon, I got a worker running across right there. Basically covered with fluon. Let's go ahead and take out the outworld, get their biformica feeder, and set that into the new nest. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll gently use the paintbrush and just do a couple taps, get them agitated, just dust them off the nest. You can also use our manual aspirator and blow into the nest to um, really agitate them out. My goal here is to not really have to handle the queen because I always am afraid that even with featherweights, like I popped a replete with featherweights, which is, I mean, repletes are different because they're pretty uh, fragile. I should have used Q-tips like urban organisms does, but I'll do that when I move my Mexicanus colony. And these were not full size repletes, so that's all right. Anyways, when I'm, I'm nervous about touching the queen because I feel like even with featherweights, I might accidentally damage her. So what I'm gonna try to do is get her out of the nest and really hopefully be able to not have to handle her at all. Just get her into here, shake it, shake it to the corner and dump them into the outworld of the fortress. So. I'm gonna use some air now and try to agitate them out. The queen is sitting right here where this nestmate plug is. So let's see if we can get her out by just popping the cap off. She might run out when I blow some air through her right here. Let's see if I can get it on camera. She's poking out barely. Can't really see her right there, but. Oh, there she went. She is out, she's inside. Let's see if I can get a good view of her. There she goes right there. Queen is out. Now we just need to finish up with the workers. So far, I think we've only killed like five workers, which is due to setting the formicarium down back on the square which five workers may sound like a lot, but this colony is around 200. With plenty more workers on the way. So it's not really a cause for concern. I'm gonna get as many out as I can with the manual, even though I don't really prefer that method because 
You're inhaling formic acid. It tastes like vinegar. And also, it's just strenuous. And then we use the paintbrush to get some of these out. And we should be just about good with the nest. Looks like we've got about mm, 15 or so workers left inside. Also a few in the outworld, but overall the colony is mainly inside here. You can see plenty of workers, some brood still. I wasn't able to get all of it out, but it shouldn't matter because it all end up in the nest anyways, because we're gonna dump the contents of this entire tub to the outworld of the fortress. And then we should be good to go from there. Oh, underestimate, there's at least probably 30 workers left in here. I can't see, you can see the roof. Roof is full of ants still. Um, so let's keep up the progress. I'm gonna go ahead and use the battery powered aspirator for this step. It's gonna get loud for a second, so turn down the volume. with that we'll just do the manual it's a little bit too wide it works better on larger colonies so we'll go ahead and get the manual aspirator back out and the paintbrush of course I mean honestly what we could do is we could close this mini heart back up close it up all right See, there's some pleat that's on my finger. I actually tried it. It's uh, just Perky Pet Hummingbird Nectar. Tried it when the replete popped. Tastes pretty sweet. All right, so what we're gonna do now, so we don't keep accidentally smushing workers. See, there's a couple dead ones, but I'd say no more than five. Get the rest of the workers off of this little box and off my hands. There's one on my thumb. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the fortress right here. So they got plenty of brood in there already. Get a nice brood right here. And we're gonna just simply tap all the ants down into it. Get a few of that. Queen's in. the fortress but overall pretty good let's see if I can get a better view of that pretty good so now let's go ahead and pick up the stragglers that barely missed and we'll go ahead and add water to the fortress now as well let's see it's gonna be on this side add some water Alright, the fortress is good, water tower is full. Missed the hole just a little bit. We're gonna add some to the nest mate on top, just a little though. It's kind of soaked down through the nest to like encourage them to move in. So it'll be humid in here. Alright. And then the nestmate's capped off. We're gonna set this aside. And now we will focus back on the mini hearth. Actually, we gotta get that straggling worker that's running around. Okay. Back to the mini hearth. And we will continue. Attempting to remove the rest of the workers from the mini hearth. Mm, there's a couple. 
collar worker running around down here. Let's see. I'm going to empty the aspirator into the fortress. I'm going to use it to blow into the mini hearth again to agitate the ants. And there is a few of these top roof right there. See if I can get it to focus in. Yep. All right. Nest is now empty. No workers left. Here's what's left in the aspirator. Another hmm, 15 or so. Maybe there's a couple left. Oh yeah, there's one. But yeah, there is all of the workers out of the mini hearth. Go and add the rest to the Fortress, and now we'll look at the fortress for a brief second. See everything going on. Plenty of workers. Some are starting to move in, looks like. This colony is, let's see, right around 10 and a half months old. So they're doing pretty good. I mean, yeah, they're doing pretty good for 10 and a half months, nearing 200 workers. Obviously this year, I think, should be able to get into a thousand by summer, but we'll see. All right, that's all for this video. Next video, we'll be moving my 5,000 worker Marquesis Mexicanus colony into a custom-made nest. So that'll be interesting. It probably will take at least a couple of hours. So, yep, thanks for watching.